Hey, what's up there YouTube? Ben here with yet another new video for you guys today. And so this is just going to be a quick first impressions video of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 4 uh, that I picked up not too long ago. And so without any further ado, let's get into the video right now. The first thing you're going to notice with the Galaxy Note 4 is its excellent build quality rivaled by only a few phones. Having owned a Note 3 and being satisfied with its fake metal banding, once you get a phone with this kind of build quality, you really realize what you were missing out on. Holding it gives you a very premium feel in your hand, which is awesome. Even with the chamfered edges, it's still comfortable to hold. I'd say it feels better and more substantial in your hand than that of the LG G3, even with it being quite a bit larger. The display on this is absolutely my favorite. DisplayMate also says that it's the most accurate display on the market today. One thing I missed from using phones with an LCD display is when the background is black, the pixels are still lit up. As we all know, this is not the case with Samsung phones and the backs are purely black and really makes the images pop. Oh, and for all the people that like to complain about the screen being too vibrant, you do realize that you basically have a TV in your pocket, right? Simply go to the settings and change it to a different mode that best suits your needs. Cinema mode is probably my favorite. The back, still being a faux leather, still feels very nice in the hand and personally, I like a plastic back. When I owned the HTC One, I was way too scared to set that thing down without a case because I didn't want to either A, mess up the screen, or B, mess up the nice metal backing. Not to mention in the winter it can get quite cold to the touch and it just isn't worth the trade off to me. Performance on this thing is just incredible. Now I don't like stock launchers, even with the Nexus 6 I will be putting Nova launcher on it. So even with the TouchWiz lag people talk about, I've yet to see it on this phone while with my Note 3, the first day you take it out of the box you can notice right off the bat with certain things that there was lag present. And again it's not necessarily lag but more just kind of jerkiness and jitteriness uh, that TouchWiz for whatever reason has because it's a memory resource hog. One thing that I've noticed with this phone that can get quite annoying is the feature to minimize whatever screen you're on. It's a really nice feature, but I find myself accidentally activating it all the time when I'm trying to go to my notification tray. I like to swipe down from the corner of my phone, and that's now how you minimize an app on the Galaxy Note 4, so I do have to kind of adjust a bit and make sure I'm not hitting the corner. Alright guys, and so that's about it for this video. I wanted to go ahead and keep that short, so I know there's a, quite a few things that I did not get into in terms of, again, the S Pen functionalities and functions that you can do with the S Pen. I didn't get into the camera very much, and a few other things that I probably could have mentioned here. Uh, but I want to save that stuff for the full review, since that's probably going to be a 10 minute plus video, because Samsung has just so many features. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this video, also hit that thumbs up button so that way you can go ahead and stay tuned for my future videos and be the first ones to see them when they are posted. Uh, so anyways guys, uh, that is about it for that video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, have a beautiful time.